my gamers, welcome back to another installment of Keyboards and Consoles. My name is Nikolai, and for those of you who don't know, this is the show where I review underrated or unknown games you may not have heard of. Today, we're going to finally wrap up a fantastic trilogy by finally leaving the Moscow Underground. The game today is none other than Metro Exodus, the most ambitious title of the trilogy. Releasing in 2019, Metro Exodus is the best game in the trilogy. The game takes place two years following the events of Metro Last Light and shows the player that Artyom is trying to make contact with outside civilizations. He believes that Moscow cannot be the only location where people survive the war. He has been making frequent trips to the surface and we are quickly told that they are life-threatening and he could die if he does it again due to the lack of non-irradiated blood to be transfused. Artyom is told by Miller and his new wife Anna, that was Miller's daughter in the last game for those of you who may have missed that part, to stop going to the surface for several personal reasons. The biggest being that they don't want Artyom dying. The second reason is a lot more sinister, which we will get to a bit later. Soon after Artyom returns from the surface and recovers, we are introduced to several new and returning characters. Miller and Anna are back, along with a new lovable cast of characters who will be prevalent throughout the game. We have Stepan, Sam, Demir, Idiot, Duke, Tokarev, and Alyosha. You will also meet plenty of new and interesting characters throughout your journey, all of whom Artyom will write about in a journal in between missions, so if you do want to learn anything about them, there you go. Now back to the main story. You see, what many in the Metro do not know is that the Russian government is supposedly alive and still giving orders to Moscow because the war is still raging on the surface. It is believed that NATO forces are currently occupying Russia and radio jammers around Moscow prevent their signals from being picked up. It's all top secret and very lucrative. This is why Artyom quickly ends it following a string of events that sees him almost dying to Hansa by shooting the jammer. From there, things escalate quickly. The remaining few of the Spartan Order end up having a bit of a train chase with Hansa because Artyom accidentally makes enemies with them. After a big firefight, you escape with the crew I mentioned earlier and a new character named Yermak. From this point on is where Exodus diverges from the previous installments. Rather than traversing through narrow tunnels in a more streamlined approach, this game has a mix of open world and on-rail segments. Miller soon realizes they may never be able to return to the Metro, so the crew spends the rest of the game traveling by train and making stops in various locations across Eastern Europe. As has been the case with the last two games, this game prioritizes narrative over the gameplay. However, the gameplay is a massive step up from the previous installments. Gunplay is smoothed out, movement is more fluid, and interactions with the world feel more natural. You have different ways to customize your weapons, and now you have to worry about how dirty they get so they don't misfire or jam. You can holster your gun so you don't antagonize people who may be neutral to you, and you have a lot more freedom with where you go in the open world segments. The story is also fantastic in this game. You learn an incredible amount about the world you're in by listening to characters talk, reading your journal, and simply playing the game. You learn the fate of neighboring cities and areas, you see what happened to the Russian government, and you get to make decisions that could result in the outcome of not only Artyom, but various members of your crew. The game starts by not so simply having you leave the metro to find the Russian government. However, it quickly switches to needing you to save Anna from a deadly sickness she picked up very early on. You do eventually save Anna, however your choices throughout the game will determine the fate of several crew members as well as Artyom. There are two endings, good and bad, both are very emotional. This is the only game besides Red Dead Redemption 2 that has made me tear up, and I love it. Staying underground grew old. That's it, Stepan. You can't give more. Look! He's up! Can you hear me, Artyom? Don't you dare die on us. Just don't you dare. You've got a whole life ahead of you. And kids! So fight for it. Fight! Why did you stop? Didn't you always want to go outside? Didn't you open that airlock at the botanical gardens? This place is much better. This isn't your destination, Artyom. You're not there yet, not even close. It's not your station, it's just a dead end. Not your goal. Can you hear me? Give me your hand. Oh, you're burning up. Well, I, 
I hope this old man's blood will do something about that that hot head of yours, eh? <laughs> I enjoy nearly every aspect of this game. The story, the gameplay, the graphics, the atmosphere, it all just fits so well. The only issue I do have is with the whole silent protagonist aspect. At many points in the game, you can stand next to your crew and listen to them speak to you or to each other. The only problem is that it's just them talking to you and you just sit there and listen. I would have loved to hear Artyom banter with his friends about the people they've seen or places they've been. The game is also very tell-don't-show by telling you a lot about what's going on and actually showing you very little. I enjoyed the standing around and listening to Cruz banter, but I also understand that some people may not. I do hope this issue is touched upon in the next installment. Speaking of the next installment, while Metro Exodus is the end of the trilogy, a game dubbed Metro 4 is currently in the works. However, no other information has been revealed as of this recording. The only rumored plot is that the crew heads back to the Metro to rescue the remaining survivors, since that's what was hinted at towards the end of the game. All I do know is that I am excited for wherever the next game takes us. So so what do you think? Do you have what it takes to finally escape the metro? Will you pick up this game? If you already have it, do you enjoy it? Either way, let me know by tweeting me at ZTV goofing off using the hashtag keyboards and consoles. As always, my name's Nikolai, and thanks for watching.